Okay. Take, take two. I don't know why, but the video turned off. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Inabel. If you're new here, welcome. I upload beauty content, specifically makeup for hooded eyes and mature skin. If you want to see how I created this one eyeshadow makeup look and this bold lip, please stay tuned. Keep watching. Okay, in keeping with tradition, I am going to use the very well-loved Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. This is the first one. And as you can see, it doesn't have the names. And I lost the paper, so this is what I had to do to um, put the names. And yes, I've hit pen right there. That one is um, Pooter. <laughs> yes, Pooter. And... I was watching my videos, my older videos, and I came across a video I did. I think it was a review um, or a, what I loved in the month or something like that. I'll link it down below. I came with that uh, up on that video and I realized that I never made a video with that makeup look. I have been thinking on how to m simplify makeup. Okay, back to what, what, I, what I was saying. I'm going to do a one eyeshadow makeup look and I am going to go bold and vibrant. So I am using the shade Jada from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, okay? Jada. And I'm using this makeup brush but make, uh, by Real Techniques. It's a thicker, bigger. I like it. We shall see. I might use another brush just so that I can um, blend at the crease. And let me just top this. I did not set my um, concealer, the concealer in the eye on purpose, okay? I wanna leave it sticky so that the eyeshadow grabs. And since I already have my face on, I have to tap the eyeshadow brush to get rid of some of the excess. You might hear the dogs and some thunder in the background. This is wet season in Florida and honest to God, we live in a town that in the wet season, it rains every single afternoon. I often joke with my husband <laughs> because I'm from Puerto Rico and we used to live in a town in Puerto Rico that it was the same. Every afternoon, it would rain. And not just in the wet season, <laughs> every year round. So it was luscious to say the least. We had a lot of vegetation and trees, and which is nice. You wanna, you wanna live in a place like that. The air quality is a lot better. Okay. You might see a change in the quality of the video, <laughs> but I had to switch the video recording from 4K to HD because I think that when I record um, on 4K, it takes too much space. I think I might have been able to figure out the problem, Lord. Okay, this is just a one eyeshadow look. I'm just making sure that I blend this into nothing. Okay. 
Okay, here we are. Okay, now I'm gonna take a pencil brush. This one is number 20 by Cara Cosmetics. Number 20 by Cara Cosmetic. And this is how it looks. And I'm gonna go on the bottom lash line. Whoops, thunder, I told you, be ready. Okay, hold on, because I have to make sure that you guys can see this and that I can see as well. And I'm just not swiping, but tapping the eyeshadow into place. Just so that I can get the best payoff right there. I feel so bad for my dogs. I have one that uh, is the scariest. She scares the most. Is She's a Boston Terrier. I'm going to be looking out so I can check my viewfinder and make sure that it's still recording. Okay, so now I put the color down. I'm going to take exactly the same uh, brush I was using earlier. This brush, I don't know if you can see, the tip is kind of like angled or domed. What I'm doing is I'm just blending at the edges. blending at the edges you see just making sure that it's blended 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 My husband just uh, stepped on one of their squeaky toys. And there is one that is thinking, well, they both thought about it, but then they they came from under the desk and realized that it was still thundering and storming and mm, rewind, rewind, rewind. I'm going to use this one. Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Gel Liner. And I'm just going to use the same brush that came with it. The only difference is that I use one of these. Because I don't want to leave it open. These things dry so fast. So I just grab a little bit of product. And close it back. Found it. I have a jar and it's full of uh, my pencils, lip liners, and eyeliners. And this brush just hides in there. So it has an angle and it's like a cat tongue. I think that's the name that they use for this type of brush, but it's real thin, real, real, real thin. I don't know that you can see how thin the tip is, but so I enjoy working with this, even though it's the one that came with the, with the gel liner. Okay, I hope that you guys can see what I'm doing now. I hope you saw all that I did.
and I am staying super, super close to the lashes right there. You see? That's it. That is, and folks, that is all. <laughs> now I hope that I can do the same thing on the other eye. You see why I have to be very careful with the way I do the because this one now looks like it's downturned compared to this one that is looking up. And now for me to fix that, it's going to be almost impossible. That's why I stay away from getting a, a winged eye look. I think they might be even now. Yes. Better. You see all my lines? Yeah. That's the story. Sad story. But it's a true story. <laughs> and I'm going to take the e.l.f. No Budge Ex Retractable Eyeliner in black. This one. Oh, of course. No Budge Retractable eyeliner by elf this tip is not as pointy as i want it but when i look afar because the eyelid the hood comes down it shows like it is so i'm gonna leave it i'm not even gonna fuss with it and i i'm going to line the top waterline even though that there's people uh well, it's not that there's people. It's just that making it darker, more black, it just take away from the young looking um, eye or expression. But I'm gonna wear eyelashes, so I'm just making sure that it's really, really, really dark, so. That doesn't make the eyelash look funny in a not funny way. And I'm just going in between the hairs just to make sure that I get enough darkness there so that it doesn't show through the eyelashes. Okay, that is it. I'm not doing anything else except getting rid of the powder because I'm done working with the eyeshadow. Although I might go back and put some more shadow just to make sure I get rid of those lines where the eye creases. You know what I forgot to do? And I'm going to do it with the pencil. I went all the way in on the other lid right here with the eye eyeliner. I'm going to be very careful. And I have to be very careful because if I go too far down right there, it'll transfer to the bottom um, lash line. And I don't want that. That's not, that's not the look. That's not the look. Okay. So I'm doing mascara. I'm not even going to do the um, mascara primer today because I'm going in with um, eyelashes. So there's no need. And I still have to use both hands to press because my hand grip is so weak 
from the injury I had in my arm. I don't know, but I feel that that I even don't remember the brand of that um, eyelash curler. And I feel like it doesn't do such a great job. So if you have any suggestions for me, please leave leave it in the comment section down below. Um, of eyelash curler curlers, I should tr I I should try. I'll do a better job than that one. Okay. And it's very easy for me like to go to touch the bottom lid. I did a little bit here, but I'll go later and I, I'll see. I love Ardell. And this is my favorite um, eyelash from them. The Demi Wispies. They have the perfect length for my eye shape. That's the perfect thing for when you have hooded eyelids. It kind of hides some of the hood in a way, and it looks so pretty. So I'm going to put this off camera and I'll be right back because this is, this is, this can be traumatic. See you in a minute. Okay, this is the completed makeup look. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, I hope that you can, I have, um, Highlighter. I I didn't want to go overboard because the eye is bold and the lip is bold. I just kept it minimal. I used the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I've been loving this highlighter forever. Um, so because it gives you a subtle glow, um, and that's what I like. Subtle. Especially when I have something on that's so bold. Let me let me back up a little bit. Let's see if I can back you up. There you go. Okay, so yes, this is the look. I don't know if you can tell, but I already applied the um, eyelashes and they make the eye look like it's uplifted, even though I had that tiny wind that made the eye a little bit um, downturn the lashes fixed it and yeah I did not have to cut these eyelashes they have a clear band I love um, that they're not too overboard they're just perfect they're the perfect size they don't go all the way to my eyebrows which is important for me I don't want them to be too dramatic I, I mean I, that's beautiful for other people who like a more dramatic eye look. But for me personally, this is the style I like, is the Demi Wispies by Ardell. Um, they they have the perfect shape and they, they're curled, so they're not, you know, straight on. So when I'm looking straight ahead, you could see the eyelash, but you still can see the eyeshadow look. Well, this is it for today guys i hope that you enjoyed oh and the lipstick i used was the one that i had bought in that makeup haul i did at cvs and walgreens and the uh color of this one is smile so yes the smile lettering right there does say the color i love the shape of it the color of it i hope that you can see what I see in the mirror because it's so, so pretty. So, so pretty. And then the uh, lip liner I use is by Rimmel, Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade Call Me Crazy. Oh my God, that's so cute. Call Me Crazy. Uh, it's the lights that make it hard, but it's 104, shade 104, Call Me Crazy. Um, so yeah that's it um i hope that you enjoyed this like i said before if you're new thank you for coming my name is annabelle i hope you come if back you know someone who has hooded eyes and who has um, mature skin send them over so that they can enjoy the content as well 
And yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye.